What's up YouTube today? I'm going to be showing you the I would say I would consider this the best way of optimization for your 5m scripts uh, this will get your scripts from uh, or most of your scripts I'm not going to say all your scripts most of your scripts to a lower uh, resource on the on the resource monitor which is what you're hoping for right you don't want a higher CPU usage because it just doesn't make sense and uh, most of that comes into with distant checks. So this video is actually going to be very short and I'm just going to show you how or uh, I was taught and how I did it myself. Uh, so really it did it in the banking. So we'll go into the banking and uh, whoops. We will give us into the client. So the client is where it's going to usually be at. <clears throat> and I'm going to zoom in so you guys could sort of understand a little bit here. Um, so right now it's set to defaulted to one second so i've let sleep up here which is basically like a local sleep right um in theory it would be this so this is considered 15 seconds um and it's just a sleep so you could really name this whatever you could name this a wait timer or anything like that and uh it doesn't really matter how you choose to have that so we'll go down the code a little bit so we don't really need any of these and I'll show you where it's at. So we have our blips and then our banking. So this is this is what I'm talking about where the optimization comes in. At the start, we just had one distance check and it would run every single second, right? And this is where it will cause more stress on your person's client side and um, make their CPU usage higher. So this is what we do. So we have a tar uh, our function here that goes through all the banks, right? And we set our, our sleep here to 15 seconds. So it sleeps it right back to 15 seconds uh, when you are not these distance away. And then every 15 seconds, it'll check if you're this distance away, so 70. So if you were 70, then it's only just gonna wait five seconds. If you were 20, it only waits two seconds. And if you're 2.5, it only waits 10 seconds, or not 10 seconds, uh, a tenth of a second, right? And it just checks if you're pressing E. And this is uh, the optimization method here, where if this was just one second, it would just continuously run over and over and over again. Well, in this case, we just put a check for sleeping, right? And uh, really, we could have did this a little differently. We could add a for loop and uh, just ran through the for loop of uh, distance checking and selecting the sleep off that. Uh, and we didn't really need to keep going off these ifs. We could do a for and then all that. but this is the best way of doing this. So then we have our, it starts right at the start, right? So delay our sleep and then it grabs bang target. Um, and yeah, this is, I, this is the best way. This is actually the best way of lowering your resmon. I believe this banking started at, I want to say point, point 0.17 or point 0.2 even. And uh, I think right now it's sitting at point zero 0.02. I'm not going to really show you guys that, but this is like the gist of the video another thing is uh just selecting most optimizations are like this right um some of them are other things like you could do uh could do golfing you could golf your code basically uh which makes the basically is like finding what you don't need like right here source is declared but never read this is useless i'm gonna be honest this is completely useless unneeded code right um and you just get rid of that and one, it just makes your code easier to read. But two, um, it just, I mean, it's an easier to read thing and then it's less, right? So right now we're doing a con source. So anytime this runs, we're grabbing the source for no no reason. We're actually grabbing the source for no reason. Um, but yeah, uh, another thing is I'll go shortly with cars, I guess. Uh, most car resources, uh, if you have a high texture, it's gonna show you an error and really that's, it's not that it's a bad car. It's just that it's, it's requiring a lot. So uh, just be careful with those and make sure those are all in one resource. Uh, same thing with Y maps. Don't have your Y map actually in all one resource. It's actually better if they're spread into multiple per section of the map because they have different uh, loading, loading qualities and they load differently based off of space. So just remember that. But that's the gist of the basics of optimization for your code.